guys, Double Wide Six, and uh, in today's video, I have uh, an old Doracraft uh, woodworking bandsaw, and uh, I'm trying to convert it over to work for metal. So um, I'll just show you a couple things I did, and uh, we'll show you how it cuts. I was going to get a, one of those Milwaukee like portable bandsaws, but then I thought. You know, you have to do most of your cutting horizontally with those. So I decided that I would give, uh, you know, a regular vertical bandsaw a try. And this one actually has variable speed. And in order to cut metal, you really need to slow down the speed. And you got to be about, from what I read online, about 250 feet per minute cutting wise. And uh, with this being variable speed, I think I'm in that range. Because if you go too quick, you'll burn through your blades. Um, I also upgraded the blade to a bi-metal uh, hacksaw blade. And it's a 10 slash 6 blade, meaning it has 10 teeth per inch. And then it has 6 teeth per inch. And then it has 10 teeth and 6 teeth and so on like that. And I basically went through the saw and uh, cleaned it up and made a couple little modifications. One of the things that I did is I extended the table. I put some, uh, I don't know, a little thicker, it's like 5 16 inch plywood. And then I glued uh, an aluminum plate to that. And it's longer than the uh, original table by about 5 inches. Uh, I no longer can tilt the table with this on there. Um, I also cut through here and made a, excuse me, a zero insert, a zero clearance insert basically. Um, so I don't have metal getting stuck in there or any chips like that. And uh, I put a board on the bottom like this so I can clamp it down on a table or move it and make it portable. And the only other thing that I did besides cleaning everything out is I added a 2x4 on here which is bolted through the machine and uh, this is actually glued and screwed in place so that this won't move. It's very solid. Uh, it's not wobbly. Um, and those that's basically all that I did. And now we can take a look at the motor. Well I took the uh, cover off the motor and it's actually um, a one horsepower motor, single phase, two pole. And, uh, you know, the, the good thing about this motor is that the speed can be adjusted. They use that potentiometer. And you can also see that they have a gearbox. And uh, that gearbox is what gives the motor great torque to be able to cut wood. Um, I don't think the saw is made really to cut metal. But in the, uh, I actually have the book for it still. It's from uh, 1986. And it says that it can cut wood and what they call hard material. So um, now we'll take a look at how this all cuts. The first cut I'm going to do is uh, some steel. It's eighth inch. And I already cut this a little earlier. You can see you get a real nice cut. So we'll turn this on. Next thing we're going to try and cut is a pretty thick piece of galvanized pipe. We'll see how it does with this. It's a real nice cut. What I find is when I cut something pretty thick, 
I have to change the speed a little bit, speed it up or slow it down, but still that blade's not hot and neither is the metal in any way. Um, but what I can do is I can change that variable speed, turn it up a little, and uh, you know, it's because you're cutting such a hard material, it's not going, um, you know, th actually at the speed that it's supposed to when you're cutting wood. So that's, that's pretty impressed impressive that's you know got to be about a three sixteenths of an inch thick here's a piece of uh, thick plate and um, you know I use this for brackets and things like that once in a while welding projects and you can see this line this is from trying to cut it with my uh, grinder um, so this stuff is it's at least a sixteenth of an inch thick. So we'll try and cut this and see how it does. Here's a piece of uh, some square stock. It's got to be at least a sixteenth thick, probably a little more. So to give you guys an idea of the type of stuff that I cut, here's a piece of uh, sheet metal and you can see it has an edge on it. It's from something like a dehumidifier I believe or microwave possibly. So what I'm going to do is just uh, try and cut this off and we'll see how it does. Cuts like butter and not even hot. I found a spot in my garage where this thing will fit pretty well. I can kind of tuck it in and I like the fact that I have it just mounted on that board. So if I'm using it for a project and I don't have enough clearance with the wall behind it, I can just pull it out and move it. I think I did pretty well with this bandsaw because I only paid $30 for it. Uh, I did put a fair amount of time into it, but that's okay. Uh, I think it's going to work out pretty well for me. And uh, as I said before, those portable bandsaws, they, although you can put them vertical, there's not much room for cutting. And I, I think most of the jobs I do, the steel I'm cutting is usually under an eighth of an inch. Uh, cut sheet metal real quick like especially that stuff that's a little bit thicker and kind of hard to cut with shears uh, this makes easy work of it so I'll put some links in the description where you can check out those other portable bandsaws and a metal cutting bandsaw if you're interested the nice thing about this particular project is I thought I was gonna have to set up a bunch of pulleys to make this thing run really slow but the, uh, the variable speed on this saw really seems to be working. So maybe if you can find an old woodworking saw with a potentiometer on it, you can use it for cutting metal as well. Anyhow, I'm Double Wide Six. I appreciate you guys watching. And down in the comments, you can let me know what you think of uh, this saw and how it cuts and uh, just your opinion. Take care. Thanks for watching.